not a new spot but a spot i just picked up the uh, the world's longest spider web it was across an entire quarter acres up there and it absolutely wrapped all around me well i want to look right here first i'm doing what we always do wow this is like it was a junkyard or a dump we're getting in creeks and you've been here but there's been a little bit of rain since the last time i saw some right here that almost looked like a coin and now i just lost it so what you do is you go back where you were you turn around you look again oh. i'm telling you that is a lot of spider web it's wrapped all around my head So we'll poke around right here for a minute and then we're going to get in this creek and look for anything and everything and it'll be in here because this is where it goes last time i went downstream here i was with brandon the bottle guy the bottle extraordinaire dude Venture Archaeology. Y'all know him. Y'all watch his videos. Oh, there's a beaver dang. Two things about it. It could be good if it doesn't get really deep between here and there. Past it, it could be real good because it's going to be shallow. There's a tall bottle right there. Paper label bottle. I'm not going to get it because I'm coming back this way anyway. I feel like I'm sinking. But I want to go this way first and then we'll go back and head upstream. Actually, it's just a washed up spot. The problem with that is it's going to hold water. Eventually, it's going to fill up this, then all the way back up through the city. This is the end of the city where it runs out. What is that? Oh, that's a fish with a big mole or cyst or something. Kind of like a chipmunk swimming underwater. But there's a spot down here. And I had been up back before I met Brandon. I'd been up in there digging around, poking. And then Brandon said, hey, you wanna go check out this thing? And I was like, yeah, let's go. So we went and it was the same spot. What did we, know, did we know that he and I both playing the same nasty water? Matter of fact, I think I had on waders and he just had shorts on. Look at this. I gotta get through there. But I gotta get all this Starbucks stuff out of the way first and get on the other side. The other side's pretty clear. It's pretty clear there's spider webs too. So, what I'm doing is looking for snakes, specifically venomous ones. Oh, that I don't grab. I'd rather grab one of those than a spire. There's always large spiders. Ooh, I'm over. Where'd my sunshine go? Oh, is that a caterpillar? Look how big that caterpillar is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Too bad it drowned. You imagine being a bird and seeing that it'd be like something you get at sonic you bite the end off and suck all the soft stuff out then you do the skin like beef jerky and you just peel it off the sun should come back out there's another bottle that looks like a tall paper label coke let's set it to the side that's a Coke, not paper, what in a jar? Maybe we won't forget that. 
Yeah, we're going to forget that. But we can see it. I can't carry a jar. So we've got to walk gently downstream to be able to even see bottles. That looks like a knife. But it's not. We'll put it with that iron. Because I'm looking for specifically bottles on this trip. Believe it or not, I, I don't like them. But that's just a CBB common beer bottle. CB squared, if you will. We found bottles in here, but not many. They just don't seem to make it for some reason. If they slide out of the bank on a recent rain, then sometimes you can get, get them before. There's a, that was one of the problems right there. That's another big old spot that's kind of danged up down there. I see cups, a few cups. This water is freezing. We're in the, uh, the, the heart of the summer is right around the corner and I can't wait. I'm ready for 99 degree days and 80 degree nights and I'm sinking. That might be the first keeper in the bank if it says something. That's a keeper nonetheless. It says antiseptic. Dr. Chivago. I've got mosquitoes all over me. I'm glad they're they're hatching out because they're always fun to take along with me. Because it kind of bleeds you out a little bit. A good mosquito will. Yeah, a good healthy mosquito. Gotta be another bottle in here. But as you know, the little bottles are some of my faves. Uh, I think my turn is right here. And I gotta climb through that. This is a result of the last tornado that came through. It uh, it put a lot of. I'm trying to figure out how to get down without falling. Now I'm on top of this jam, and we need to get down there and get over there. So I'm taking this tree. And using it like a ladder I say a bridge that's a little more like it now I gotta jump down there or fall down there one of the eight I hear a dog how on earth is there a dog out here If you're ever in a creek and you get attacked by a dog, go to deep water and it'll follow you. And you leave and leave the dog there. That's only if it's really attacking you and biting you. I 
where is the turn? I guess it's the next one. The problem is, once something hits the creek like this, it makes a massive hole next to it. As much as I hate to say it, I missed a snake right here. And that looks pretty deep. But, we'll still go a little more. I gotta keep going now. I'm falling. I almost fell in face first just then. Oh, that would have been rough. So rough I would have freaked out. And I got to climb back over both of those on the way back. I almost fell on my face. If it hadn't been for my brand new Kelly Grippers. I have a waiter full of water. There's a bottle, but I think it's a standard issue beer. If it is, we'll sit on the side and harvest on the way back, pending what we find. You put them in roots, you find them. The water's still freezing. I'm ready for the water to warm up. Okay, maybe the turns around this corner. Gotta be, right? Pepsi. These dogs are getting closer. Found it. There's a bottle right there, but I won't be able to pick it up. It's too deep. This is the little trail. I'm whispering because of those doggone dogs. There's two of them up there. I think they heard me. Oh, great! Now my phone's ringing. Oh, well, the water's gone. Spiderwoods are still here. That's pretty cool. But the water is gone. So I'm going to walk this and see if there's anything poking around. And if there's not, I'm going to turn around and head back upstream. Well, I see pieces. This is a tough spot for a bottle to survive. For sure. Small ones are still the most impressive. Oh, this is the mosquito zone right here. I kind of want that. Even though it's not labeled or anything. Yeah. I think we shall harvest. This is kind of creepy. And I don't see another piece of a bottle. And there's so many rocks. So.
we'll walk back out, climb over all that stuff, and head upstream. I'm pretty sure this is just a wet weather ditch. It flows from another part of town and just picks up an occasional bottle. I don't see any signs of anything that's really spectacular. And there's our spot. Time to go back in. Now that's pretty neat, isn't it? I guess a bowl, ancient Egyptian, early mid-century modern. Garage kept one owner, never driven in the rain. <laughs> and I found it. Who found it? I made it back over the trees. Now I'm getting out of here. Well, a few bottles, a couple of small ones. I forgot how we climbed through here. Did we go this way or that way? I think we went that way. I've been this way. Let's get through this look on the other side one more time. I guess that's it unless we miss something under this bridge. And there could always be something over here. We're going to look for a moment. Only a moment. And then we're going to press on. and do something else. Not going up there. And there does not seem to be anything right here. I think we kind of looked, didn't we? So I'm guessing that is the end. Don't don't don't, don't click off yet. Let's uh let's look. This is all new dirt. You can see where a bulldozer excavator pushed stuff up that way. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching my videos.